Okay, so what we've done so far is to differentiate the function implicitly, but what we want to look for is the y dx. Okay, so we've we've done what we've done so far is to group the y dx into one side. So we have x dy dx plus cos of y dy dx is equal to one. We take the y to the other side minus y. Now we factorize dy dx out of the first, we get x, plus factorizing dy dx out of the second term, we have cos of y, and this is equal to 1 minus y. What do we do to get dy dx on one side? That is divide both sides by x plus cos y. So this is equal to 1 minus y all over x plus cos of y, and that gives us dy dx let's look at another example when we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 this is an implicit function because when we take y to just one side then we have y is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 minus x squared this is difficult to differentiate okay so we leave the function in the form x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 and differentiate it implicitly okay implicitly means differentiate x indicate that you have differentiated an x with respect to an x differentiate y and indicate that you have differentiated a y with respect to an x so we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 differentiate x squared and you get 2x indicate that you have differentiated an x with respect to an x plus you move on to the other term differentiating 2y we get 2 sorry y squared we get 2y indicate that you differentiated a y with respect to an x and this is equal to if you differentiate a constant is always equal to zero okay the x ds is equal to 1 1 times 2x is 2x plus 2y dy dx and this is equal to 0 okay so, but we are looking for dy dx so it means we need to make dy dx a subject so we have 2y dy dx is equal to you take the 2x to the other side and you get negative 2x divide both sides by 2y to get dy dx is equal to negative the two crosses are the two and you have negative x over y all right so i'll leave the third example which is the x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y plus 5 is equal to zero for you to solve and then i want you to go through the exercises in the slide as well so that next week when we meet you'll be submitting some i'll let you know which ones that you'll be submitting and which ones that you'll not be submitting okay so we've looked at functions but why are we differentiating functions where are we going to apply these there are so many areas or disciplines that you can apply differentiation okay you can apply it in mathematics you can apply in biology economics um, physics so many disciplines but we're looking at just a few the first one i'll be considering is the application of differentiation in mathematics where do we apply derivatives we apply derivatives when we want to find the tangents of a curve when we want to find um the the slope the normal the equation of the normal the the gradient of the normal so many stuff okay so if we want to find the tangent of a line if you want to find the slope of a line then you apply differentiation then from there you can find the equation of another line that is in relation to the curve that you find in the slope of all right so let's look at a curve which is in the xy plane all right if i'm able to draw a line that goes through only one point of the line then the name given to that line is called the tangent line okay because it goes to just one point of the line y is equal to f of x okay and if i'm able to draw another line that is perpendicular that is perpendicular to the line the tangent line then this is called 
the normal line okay so that's three lines involved here my original curve which is y is equal to f of x my tangent line which goes through only one point in the curve and then the normal line which is perpendicular to the tangent line so if i want to find the tangent of a certain curve so y is equal to the certain curve that we are considering to find the tangent of this curve what do i need to do you differentiate the line like i said before the tangent the derivative the slope the, the gradient the differential they all mean the same thing it means differentiate the curve so to find the tangent of this curve it means differentiate the curve and how do you differentiate the curve it's finding dy dx and this is equal to differentiating f of x gives you f of x so if you've been asked to find the tangent of a curve it means differentiate that curve so if i differentiate this curve at this certain point so at this point let's call this x let's call this y if i differentiate the curve at this point so x comma y then what i'm finding is the slope of the tangent if you differentiate the curve you are getting the tangent but if you differentiate the curve at a certain point that is x comma y then what you have found is the slope of the tangent okay so let's call this m1 all right an example is if y is equal to negative 4x plus 7 then if i differentiate this line dy dx this is equal to negative 4 it means negative 4 is equal to the slope of the line of the tangent okay another example if y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 7 all right and then the line one of the points or if the tangent passes through the points negative one and two then it means that dy dx is equal to 2x plus 2 all right but this is equal to the slope all right but to find the slope at this point that is dy dx finding the slope at the point negative 1 and 2 means finding the tangent at that point okay so this is equal to my x is negative 1 so i have 2 into negative 1 plus 2 and this is equal to 0 so it means the slope or the tangent at negative 1 2 is equal to zero all right and from there you can find the equation of the tangent line as well as the equation of the normal all right since the tangent is perpendicular to the normal it means that if m1 is equal to the slope of tangent and m2 is equal to the slope of the normal then m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 that means since they are perpendicular their slopes or their tangents are the negative reciprocals of each other so if m1 is equal to 2 then m2 is equal to negative 1 over 2 if m1 is equal to negative 1 over 4 then m2 is equal to 4 because they are perpendicular to each other that means the angle between them is 90 degrees therefore their slopes the product of their slopes are is sorry the product of their slope is equal to negative one however if you have two lines that are parallel to each other this is m1 m2 then because they are parallel it means m1 is equal to m2 if you find the slope of this tangent or so if you find the slope of this curve is the same as the slope of the other curve because they are parallel but if they are perpendicular then it means the slope of this is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the other line but because in this scenario here they are parallel it means their slopes 
are equal okay so, so an example over here which is given that the slope of a tangent line passing through the point two five is negative one okay so it means i have a curve which is y is equal to f of x and dy dx at the point two five is equal to negative one find the equation of the tangent line slope of normal and then the equation of the normal line all right so we know that we know the slope if you know the slope how do you find the equation of the line is it changing y over changing x is equal to the slope all right how do you find slope changing y over changing x what is changing y changing y is y minus y1 over changing x is x minus x1 so this is equal to y minus what is y y1 5 all over x minus my x1 is 2 and this is equal to the slope which is negative 1 okay so cross multiplication you have y minus 5 is equal to negative x plus 2 and from here y is equal to negative x plus 7 and this is the equation of tangent line and how how do you get the, the slope of the normal because the normal and the tangent line are perpendicular to each other it means the slope of the normal is a negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent so if negative one is the slope of the tangent line then slope of normal line is equal to the negative reciprocal of negative one which is positive one and so to find the equation of normal line it means changing y over changing x which is y minus y1 all over x minus x1 is equal to the gradient which is 1 but my y1 is 5 all over x minus 2 this is equal to 1 cross multiplication and we have y minus 5 this is equal to x minus 2 therefore my y is equal to x minus sorry x plus 3 and this is the equation of normal okay